Hey, this is Dwayne Siever with The Real Milk Paint Company, the founder and, and creator of Real Milk Paint. And today we want to introduce you a new product. Um, it's not necessarily new in the world, but it's new to Real Milk Paint. And we've been looking for a long time for a quality wood filler. And we believe we found a product that you're really going to love. And it's real wood filler. And this is made with uh, real wood dough, uh, a natural a resin, and also acetone. Acetone is the um, solvent that makes it evaporate really quickly. And if you're familiar with acetone, you've probably smelled it before when uh, someone in your family is cleaning their fingernails or painting their polishing their fingernails with fingernail paint. So it's a very fast evaporating solvent, so it doesn't stick around real long. One thing you'll notice about this can of real wood filler is it's upside down. So the bottom of it is actually where we're gonna pop it open for the product itself. So you can see it's a nice uh, kind of a wood dough look to it, you know, f fairly dark in color. So it would probably match pretty decently for, you know, a, a light colored wood like pine. Um, you can see I did a little, little, bot, little dab right here in this corner that's drying so we can sand that off later. Um, this one thing that's nice about this wood filler is that you can tint it with other colors. So uh, we're, I'm going to show you a couple different wood samples here and how, how we'll go about tinting it. And before we go about tinting it, one thing I want to mention too is that if the filler gets too thick for you, then you can use the acetone to make it thinner. So that's another advantage of the acetone. So here we have a piece of walnut and we're going to mix up a little bit of uh, wood filler and, tr and get, a, get a color similar or close to this. One thing that's good good thing to do with a wood filler is make your fill a little darker than the wood itself. So then when you put a finish over it, it's, it's always less noticeable to have a darker wood filler than it is a light wood filler. So let's mix up a little. We'll take a little dab of this here. Close this up, close the lid on it quickly because it does evaporate fast and dry out. And then we're gonna take a little bit of, this is actually warm ash is the color we're using here. And we're going to mix that right into, and this is just milk paint powder. So we're going to take this dry milk paint powder and mix it into the filler and make a colored filler. And the, the filler itself has enough liquid in it that uh, it, it, it will mix in. But it, like I said, if you want it to mix in faster or become less solid, you mix in a little bit of a solvent with it. Now you can see this color as, a, as opposed to the, to the original color where it was right here. You can see how much darker that is. I'll show you that. Now that's the original color right there and you can see we darkened it up. So this may or may not be dark enough for the walnut, but we're gonna, we're gonna use it anyway. And you know what, because this is drying out pretty good, I'm gonna throw a little bit of solvent on here. Our studio here is uh, kind of warm today. So I'm gonna splash a little bit of solvent on there. Just, just a drop or two. That's all we really want. I guess if I was mixing up a large batch of this, I might mix it in a bowl or on a, a tray or something, a steel tray. Um, the wood here is probably evaporating, taking a little bit of the, the, the moisture out of it. You can see, let's go and put this in the, in the hole on the walnut here. And probably I'd say it could probably be a little bit darker. So you might want to, in this case, you might want to mix some black into it to make it a little darker or um, some red, you know, to make it darker. But we'll let that dry a little bit. And let's move on to a different color. Different. Here we have some, here we have a little bit of cherry wood. So let's mix up a little bit of wood filler for this cherry wood and see how that works. So we're going to take, we're going to take the uh, barn red milk paint. And that's a really deep kind of burgundy red color. And we're going to take some more wood filler out of here. And let's put that down there. Move this out of the way. We'll take a little bit of, of the barn red here. And 
And we're going to mix that in to the wood filler. And you can see how red that's getting. So like I said, you might experiment with the different colors. I mean, this actually might be too red for that cherry. So you might, you know, mix in a little bit of uh, raw umber or mix in or warm ash, or you might mix in a different color of the milk paint itself. So we're going to fill in that spot right there. And let that dry. We've got another little spot here. So like I said, this might be a little bit too red for that particular species, but this gives you the concept and the idea of, of how you can color the milk paint. You can basically, or color the filler. You can basically tailor it to whatever color you need it to be by intermixing the colors. And once you kind of create your own formula, you know, for, for the wood species you're matching, then you're good to go. The other thing that's nice about the wood filler itself is you can mix uh, stains with it, you can mix paints with it, you can mix pigment powders with it, which is basically what's happening with the milk paint. So you can mix any number of different things with it. Um, I, I did try mixing some of the dark tongue oil with it, and uh, that took a long time to dry. So the oil products may not be the best to mix with it, but any kind of solvent-based stains um, or water-based paints should, will be fine to mix with it. So let's, let's, uh, let's sand this off here a second. That's pretty dry now. And let's just sand this spot off. So you can see that's, that's where the pine is. And uh, you can you can see that spot there. And let's throw let's throw just a little bit of dark tongue oil on it, just to, just to, for kicks and giggles here. So you can see it took on some more color with the dark tongue oil, the filler did. So you might do, do some experimenting beforehand, mixing the different types of uh, colorants with the filler to get the exact color you want so that when you fill a project that your filler doesn't turn out the wrong color for you. So I think that, I think you'll be really pleased with this product. We have it in four different sizes. Um, it'll be available shortly on the website. You'll be able to order it. And um, I think, you'll, I think it, it'll be a really good tool to have in your toolbox works in a lot of different places inside outside um, it's just a great all-around filler and dries really fast hey thanks for viewing